So anyone who knows me really well knows I like to play around with magnets. And here's something that I guess you can call an experiment if you want, but I'm not specifically trying to prove anything, but something kind of interesting did happen. So I've got some magnetic tape that runs all the way along this coffee table and spools up in the end where there is a, one of these um, type of magnets. It's like a, you put both of these together and they sort of click and then you got six little ones and six big ones these are all hematite magnets but the interesting thing to me is not just the spacing and the way that um i mean i can finish it i just didn't really want to cut the tape and or have it spooling down and then have it that one sitting on the edge but i mean either way the spacing itself sort of holds the magnets fairly well in place and if they get any closer, they sort of um, tend to click together. And uh, the interesting thing to me is that the magnet that goes here, in any way that I space them, where there's three, four, and then the fifth magnet, it refuses to stay on the tape. And if I put it on the tape, it'll want to go off the front edge. Any way that I rest it, and as you get more magnets on the tape, it's kind of more difficult to get them to stay there. But if you move the ball around, you'll find like the right point of the polarity. But I feel like some kind of like whole like field is uh, centered around this point, which is see how easy it is for them to click together and then roll away. Luckily, they didn't go far, but now I can show you what I mean with, see, and then that threw those two together as well. So it will start here, and because that's in the fifth spot, it just won't stay on, and it can't really have anything to do with what's underneath the table, because there is a piece of rebar that kind of stabilizes the table so it doesn't develop a bow in the wood but that's uh the same all the way along it it's not like there's any extra screws or anything that uh cause the ball to not want to stay there but if you can see it's like there's just enough space if i move that one over and i get them as close as they're going to get without being drawn together and then I can get this one to come in from the front and balance. But it just, it moves the whole continuous field that goes without that there and it throws it off. I'm not even going to be able to put another ball on until I move that one. And then all I can really do is leave it there on the tape. And I just find it interesting. You know, it's obviously got something to do with the length and the spacing. But like I said, it's just uh, an interesting thing that I've got on my table. Kind of a game that I play with myself to see how long I can go without knocking it out of sequence. I just think it looks pretty cool.